All right, so check it out. Now I'm on a fast break. And here's another example of uh, predetermined or forced turnovers. All right. So now I'm on my fast break. And if you pay attention, I'm basically getting ready to blow by this guy right here. And he's going he's gonna to reach across me. He's actually going to foul me. He's not even going to touch the ball. But, you know, they're going to uh, uh, give him the steal. It's going to count as a turnover. But pay attention to how when I'm going to the basket, um, I'm going at an angle and I want to get on the left side and probably get a layup or a dunk. Or, you know, if I blow past him good enough, I could just get a straight up, you know, whatever. You know, right at the front of the rim. Now, even though I'm blowing by him, I get his back in, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm basically going on this dude. What they're going to force me to do is curve in. You see that right there? where I'm going in an angle and I'm forced to curve, boom, right? Do you see that? That is them putting me, forcing me into position to um, collide with this man so he can get a turnover, so he can get the steal. Once again, a lot of times you get a turnover, you get a foul, a lot of times it's just the AI forcing it to happen. Unless you made a bad pass, or you was just over dribbling the ball, or you was actually going up against a great defender who could steal, and you were over dribbling. Most of the time, or any anything outside of that, is just a forced turnover. It's all generated. It's automated by the AI or by the algorithm. It's the algorithm way of just saying, "Okay, lose the ball. You losing the ball right here because that's what happens sometimes in basketball." That's what the algorithm is basically doing. So once again, boom. He reaches across and he gets the uh, pick. Now, pay attention to this. I've never ever been able to steal the ball like this, and I average about nine or ten steals. No bullshit. In this season right here, because I'm playing every game, I'm averaging about nine or ten steals, and I want to show you that. And I want to show you how low his actual stealing ability is in his defense. So check it out. As you can see, that's that's all his that's all hand. All right. Even if you want to say he touched the ball, that's all hand before he touched the ball. So that's a foul. Anytime I do something like this or try to, they they immediately call a foul. Pardon me, I got a little cold, but they immediately call a foul. All right. He put his motherfucking hand right through my shit. Now let's check it out. Think I'm bullshitting about my steals, right? This is what I do. A steals. I think I, I think I simulated one uh, one or two games. It was at nine point seven at first. In the games that I play, is is you know I get probably well over ten. Let me show you. All right, yeah. So that last game was was simulated. But look at that. These are the games that I actually play. Fifteen, fifteen, thirteen. 11, didn't play that game, didn't play that game. Any Anytime I play, you know, I might have a few games where I get about five or six steals if I play. But for the most part, I'm getting about 9, 10, 11 or more. Now, let's go look at this guy's stealing ability. This is Kevin Porter Jr. with his garbage ass. Hold on. Check it out. He should not have been able to do this right here, what he just did. His steal is on 53. My shit is on like a high 80, low 90 or something like that. And I'm not even able to do that. I have not, out of all the games i played, I have not been able to successfully pull that shit off right there ever. Specifically talking about you know, when someone is driving and you reach around and pluck the ball out, they call the foul on me every time. I never, I'm never allowed to get away with that. But, oh shit, anyway man, peace.